Welcome to Nittany Nation Game Day. Here come the Nittany Lions onto the turf at Beaver Stadium. And just like that, your heart sank. 0-2 is not in our in our thought process going into the year, but the last thing that I'm going to let this team or, or this program, this university, is, is I'm not going to go like that. Now you find out what you're made of. We're a tough football team. We have each other's backs. We all know what type of team we are. If you're not motivated right now, um, then, I mean, I don't, I don't really want you on the team. No more talk. No more waiting. It's time to win with a familiar face in town. Nittany Nation game day starts right now. Hey, Whoa. hi, hello. Spooky. First. Welcome to Nittany Nation game day. I'm Peter Terpster, short and on an awesome box. It's been one heck of a week. Yeah, for you, it's been one heck of a week. Yeah. I'm Jack Washer. No sleep allowed. Wake up out there. It's time to talk football, Peter. Good morning or afternoon to you, Mr. Slendy Bendy. Now let's take a look at this. An empty Beaver Stadium, except for some parents and some cardboard cutouts last weekend. Penn State did not have much to cheer about in the first half against Ohio State. Falling behind 21-3 in the second half, though, Sean Clifford and Jahan Dotson had a connection. We'll get to that in a bit. Bottom line is Penn State was not on Ohio State's level, and you can't dig yourself out of an early hole against the number three team in the country. I have no idea why we keep starting so slow, but we, we, we just got to fix our own practice. Uh, Coach Franklin builds practices uh, so that we start fast. We got to jump off, jump out early, um, early and often. Um, you know, similar to last week, you know, we had a touchdown drive and nothing. So we got to, we got to figure it out in the first half for sure. So this thing has not really gone as planned. Penn State is 0-2 for the first time since 2012, and that was Bill O'Brien's first year as head coach. They would wind up finishing 8-4 that year. Now, Ohio State has won four straight games against Penn State, and you can pretty much kiss any Big Ten or national championship hopes goodbye. And remember when Penn State beat Ohio State in 2016? That put them back in the AP poll, and while well, 63 consecutive weeks later, they're finally out after falling to the Buckeyes last weekend. Now. Let's repeat that one more time. Penn State spent 63 straight weeks in the AP poll. And now they're unranked for the first time since 2016. Now that's enough negative, Nancy. Jahan Dotson was a bright spot in that game. He had eight catches for 144 yards, three tutters, and a one-handed touchdown catch that made you turn your head a couple times. And he did so with some added motivation. His grandmother, Gloria, passed away back in April. And he explains why their relationship helped him get to this point. Every week, I bring a little t-shirt, got her on it, and I just keep it with me. I talk to her before the game. I have a little conversation with her, and she, she just let me know the opportunity was there today, and I got to make the most of it. So I'm just, it, it, it's just crazy how God works. Uh, my family just tells me to be patient all the time, and that's what I've been doing. And it's finally paid off. So Jahan Dotson's on pace for a career year, and that's pretty obvious. So far this season, only two games. He has 12 catches for 238 yards and four touchdowns. That's about half of the yardage and only one fewer touchdown than the entire season last year. He's the top wide receiver for Penn State right now, and the other two starters are true freshmen. And we have some more wide receiver news to talk about. Segway. Penn State will have two true freshmen starting wide receivers, like Peter said, this next game. Keandre Lambert-Smith will get his First career start, number 13, if you've noticed him, catching a few balls. And he will join fellow freshman Parker Washington starting at the other wide receiver position. All around, you have seen the ball spread around a bit more this season so far with defenses really focusing on Dotson and Pat Fryermuth. So, Peter, the season is put on pause. You finally get this thing going. Then Penn State drops 0-2, oh, blah, 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 and here we are. Here we are. You can pretty much say goodbye, as we said, to those Big Ten title hopes, college football playoff hopes, too. Bummer, dude! <laughs> but the season has to continue. Here we are. Here come the Nittany Lions onto the turf at Beaver Stadium. This isn't the last time any of us are going to face adversity in our lives. Um, so, so when adversity does happen, you know, you have 
you have two two options really. You can you can stop uh, what you're doing and and you can let it affect you, or you can use it as motivation and learn from it. The season has been a weird one for sure. The long wait, plus the pandemic, plus Indiana's controversial overtime win to start the year. I don't know if it's necessarily um, accurate to compare apples to apples. Um, you know, typically. We're playing a combination of non-conference and conference games. This is a very unusual year. So your championship goals are not there anymore. Now what? We don't want to let each other down. That's, that's the biggest thing at the end of the day. We, we love each other so much, and we, we want to battle for each other. So uh, just going out to practice every day, making each other better. The goal we have this week, and that's kind of where my focus is. I'm not looking at bigger picture or whatever may happen at the end of the season, but as long as we take care of that kind of this week's business, I got practice today, take care of practice tomorrow, and then um, success will come on Saturday. So big picture here. If you're a Penn State fan, uh, you could be frustrated. Uh, you could maybe shrug this off because everything's so weird right now. I mean, for me, it really goes back to the Indiana game, and, I mean, that should be a win in, in my opinion. But you could argue that all day. They're still 0-2, and, and that's where we're at. Yeah, you, you had probably – Two of the harder games to start the year on the road to Indiana, who mm -hmm. is, you know, sneaky, playing very sneaky, well. Sneaky, sneaky right yeah. now. And then you get Ohio State at home. So the schedule does soften from here because really you look at it like Michigan doesn't look that good. Minnesota doesn't look that good. Um, there's really no team that kind of scares you outside of, you know, Ohio State. So honestly, I mean, I, I think Penn State's not the only team that's losing right now. That's the right, crazy exactly. thing. Minnesota has not looked good. The, the gap between Ohio State and the rest of the Big Ten is huge this year. And, it, and it's been big for a while, but you clearly can see it now. And that's not to say that Ohio State won't drop a game that, right. that they're not, that they're supposed to win later on. They're, so. due, they're always due for a game where they lose. Like, what? They really lost yeah, that Yeah, like game? to Purdue or something like that. I just like don't that, think, yeah. though, this year, because I think Justin Fields is so good he and is. whatnot. So. All right, so ahead on Nittany Nation game day. We're all dealing with COVID right now, but how are players and coaches adjusting in an unusual year? Plus, this past Tuesday was like no other Tuesday. Penn State football has ever experienced. You know what we're talking about next. Hi, I'm Carrie Confer. You know, I've driven Toyota trucks most of my life. Silly boys, trucks are for girls. Come see us at Joel Confer Toyota. Joel Confer Toyota in State College. Toyota, let's go places. Beer is the third most frequently consumed drink on the planet. Beer Bellies in Hamilton Square Shopping Center supports the largest gatherings of beer drinkers with its amazing varieties. Selection rituals can be prolonged, but this large primate has experience on his side. An unfiltered wheat, an IPA, he ponders his prey. The beast has captured his prey. His call tells others in the area, this is my beer. Others keep out. Beer bellies, over 500 beers, and the hours to suit your wild side. Every home has its own unique style. When you shop at Windy Hill Furniture, you'll find that we offer unique styles for every home and one-of-a-kind pieces to complement any decor. While we're known for our extensive rustic options, we are so much more. We also offer the simplicity of modern trends, along with the warmer feel of timeless traditional designs. All American made with quality and craftsmanship built to last for generations. Visit us today at Windy Hill Furniture. It was finally my rock bottom. It was finally enough. I had was so tired and I couldn't do it anymore. There had to be something bigger than me out there. I had been trying to get sober on my own, and I couldn't get me sober. I couldn't change my behavior or the way that I was living. I just got on my knees and asked God to change me. On the 700 Club, Monday at 10 a.m. For over 40 years, Joel Confer Toyota has provided the utmost customer service while serving local communities. Stop in today and let Michael King show you the newly redesigned RAV4. Log in at JoelConfer.com or visit our showroom at Joel Confer Toyota of State College. You're watching WTAJ's Nittany Nation Game Day. Only on WTAJ, your Nittany Nation station. Today's show is brought to you by Patterson Automotive. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. Welcome back. In case you didn't notice, something important happened earlier this week, and it really has nothing to do with football. 
but it has everything to do with you and everybody else. The NCAA recently made Election Day a mandatory off day nationwide to give those players and staff and well, really anyone connected a day to vote. Nothing like a little democracy to go with your defense. Most of our staff and most of our team went out and voted this morning. This sends a message. Players had Tuesday to get to the polls. Voting is important, even if you're busy, even if you're Penn State's football coach during the season. It was packed, so I was glad I got there early. I, I voted over at Good Shepherd Church over there by Grayswood Elementary School, where my, where my daughters went to elementary school. Coach Franklin, he got his vote in nice and early. There's a lot of people that have had opinions on, on what should be going on in our country. Um, but but really had not used their voice, you know. So I think there's been a lot of emphasis over the last couple of years and specifically this past year to say, okay, if you want to have a voice, if you want to have opinions, it starts with going and, and getting involved and, and, and taking advantage of your rights. So Penn State had to switch up the schedule this week. The team is uh, normally off on Mondays and then back to practice on Tuesdays. Uh, so this week they were practicing on Monday and then they got back to work on Tuesday. Moving on, Penn State has had to deal with obviously COVID like everybody else uh, in this in, entire season. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean like college football has been kind of turned upside down because well, you know, you have, to, you have to worry each week about, are we going to have positive tests? Are we going to mm -hmm. have, uh, you know, are we going to have to worry about our game being canceled? Or do we have to worry about our team coming in having positive tests? I mean, mm -hmm. your brain pretty much explodes by Wednesday, recalibrates by Thursday, explodes by Friday. And, well, in the end, you're just dealing with, well, chaos. And, well, here's how Penn State has kind of been dealing with an unusual year. You can't interact with people outside of the building you have to you have to sacrifice um your your time outside of the building um in order for us to continue moving forward this season without any uh COVID troubles just really being able to socialize with a lot of my friends uh like all get togethers uh parties stuff like that yeah that's something that we we choose not to go to just to make sure that we're making the best decision to keep our team safe keep ourselves safe big week stressful like this yeah. is between COVID elections, I mean, your brain, football season. If your brain's not oh, you know, too. exploding right now, <laughs> um, I, I need to check. I need to check who, who you are as a person. But no, I, I mean, you know, we talk about COVID, though. I mean, that's still, mm -hmm. I think, the number one focus by all teams is making sure. I mean, you take a look at, you know, coming up tonight when Clemson takes on Notre Dame, the best player in the country is not going to play tonight because of COVID. And, it has, <laughs> and it's not because he took a hit. It's because he literally has a disease that he doesn't want to spread. And that's probably the virus big, virus. Sorry, virus. virus. Sorry. My brain, like I said, my brain is. Old yeah. <laughs> so like, I think that's the, the big thing. Unfortunately, Penn State has not had to deal with that yeah. yet. Their last COVID count uh, was 11 positives announced this past week. That was down from 13 the week before. Of course, that's across all sports teams. Um, they're doing somewhere around 1300 tests per week. They're testing the football team daily. Uh, they're doing everything they can. Um, and I'm sure, you know, all the other programs are doing everything they can, too. So what hopefully, fingers crossed, right, that we don't run into any of those troubles. All right, coming up next, no turps allowed, except for Peter. Well, maybe. <laughs> Penn State has been dominant in this game, and we'll explain why next. We're cheers in the merrymakers, the givers and not takers, and the home decorators. To those that got us through spring, summer, and fall. We're cheers and for all at Duncan. Share some cheers with friends via the Duncan app. America runs on Duncan. You're watching WTAJ's Nittany Nation Game Day. Only on WTAJ, your Nittany Nation station. Today's show is brought to you by Patterson Automotive. Can't get enough of your Pittsburgh Steelers? WTAJ's Black and Gold Today as an exclusive game day look at your Pittsburgh Steelers. Get the latest from fans, players, and coaches. Sunday morning at 11.30, only on WTAJ, your Steeler Nation station. At Patterson Automotive, we're under new ownership, new management, and we have a new way of doing business. We're proud to treat our customers and employees the way they should be treated, like family. Come by to see our multiple showrooms and say hello or shop online. 
Whether you're looking for new and used cars or scheduled maintenance, from sales to service, at Patterson Automotive, you're our Patterson priority. Did Malcolm say what he did to get arrested? It was being black in America. I'm filing a complaint. Where's the suggestion box? <laughs> I'm gonna organize a protest. They want you to fight with this, but you gotta fight with this. I can feel the way. Where's Malcolm? Oh, I thought he was with you. I'm going back out there. I'm going with you. No, I don't need anybody else I love out there. Come on, Dave. The Neighborhood. The new season begins Monday, November 16th on CBS. Tis the season to be cheersin'. Get cheers in with all with new holiday drinks at Duncan. Send a virtual cheers in with the Duncan app. You're watching WTAJ's Nittany Nation Game Day. Only on WTAJ, your Nittany Nation station. Today's show is brought to you by Patterson Automotive. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. Welcome back. Maryland is one of those eastern schools that Penn State has a long history with. Yes, it's a border state and it is fruitful recruited ground for the Nittany Lions. Now, if you take a look, though, at the recent history between Penn State and Maryland, Penn State has been kicking the corn out of the Terps. I don't think Terps really do corn, but out of the last There's 43 corn meetings, <laughs> Penn State has won 40 of them. The Nittany Lions last loss came to Maryland in 2014. Penn State then has outscored Maryland 163-6. to the last three times they played each other. Last year, Peter, Penn State beat Maryland 59 to nothing on the road, and I'm sure Franklin could have gotten 75 if you really wanted to. <laughs> they took out those starters pretty early, yeah. and that's just kind of wild to think about, all right? Now, we have some significance in this one, and again, this is not really about football. There are 14 black head coaches at Division Santa. I schools right now. <laughs> there are 11 black head coaches at Power Five schools. Now, out of those 11, Four of those coaches are in the Big Ten. That's Michigan State head coach Mel Tucker, Illinois coach Lovey Smith, James Franklin, and Maryland's Mike Loxley. Now, Franklin and Loxley actually worked together at Maryland in the early 2000s as well. We've competed against each other for, for a number of years, um, but, but I do think it's, it's great to see um, in our conference, um, you know, uh, more diversity. You know, and I think that's in the coaching positions. I think that's in coordinator positions. I think that is in, you know, staffs. Um, you know, I, I think that's that's important. Coming up next, Maryland has a quarterback whose name you'll recognize, but you probably can't pronounce. Next. You want a great deal? Five-star Mitsubishi Altoona's got it all day, every day, all year long. New Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, all-wheel drive, only $249 a month, and you own it. Super low payments, plus the best warranty on the planet. And the best buying and ownership experience you'll ever have. New Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, all-wheel drive, only $249 a month. No one stocks more, no one sells for less, only at... Five-star Mitsubishi Altoona. It doesn't get better than this. Built in America. Visit your local steel dealer to check out the whole family of powerful steel blowers. Real steel. Find yours. Your rules. Only Xfinity Mobile lets you choose shared data, unlimited, or a mix of each. And switch anytime so you only pay for the data you need. Switch and save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill with the carrier rated number one in customer satisfaction. Call, click, or visit your local Xfinity store today. Think you know FanDuel? Well, what if we told you that we've got an ace up our sleeve? Introducing FanDuel Casino. Now you can play casino games like blackjack, roulette, and online slots for real cash right from your FanDuel Sportsbook app. So when we say there's more ways to win on FanDuel, you can take that to the bank. New casino players play your first 24 hours risk-free on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Get up to $200 back. You're watching WTAJ's Nittany Nation Game Day. 
This segment is proudly presented by Duncan. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. Welcome back. Let's take a look at Maryland. The team is fresh off an overtime win against the Golden Gophers. And that was their first win of the season. Now, a new quarterback for the Terps, maybe new life in College Park. Our guy, Alif Kareem, has the Maryland scouting report you need to hear. The Maryland Terrapins come off a morale-boosting thriller in overtime over Minnesota on home field. Good reflection of where we want to be, especially when you look at the way that game went. Um, you know, being up early, then getting down, but still finding a way to grit out a win. Now the Terps need to find ways to get better defensively. On that side of the ball, they failed to create any turnovers in their last two games, but they did make crucial stops in the final quarter of their last game, on top of creating chances for the offense. We're a team on offense that wants to try to get as close to 80 plays as we can possibly get, which then allows us to really be diverse in how we spread the ball around. Like our whole offense as a whole just proven like more action into our into what we had to do. We put it like really worked on the game plan, got into it, we got everything detailed. So from week one to week two, we just put in more work and just got everything headed up. A lot of those chances relied on what Maryland's starting quarterback Talia Tungavailoa has done with the ball in his hands. The strength of Talia is his ball placement and in the RPO game is his athleticism and his, uh, as I like to say he has really good hands where he's able to put the ball in the mesh it with the running back, pull it, get itself balanced and make accurate uh, pin, eye, uh, pin eye throws. And now those hands will be tested when the Maryland Terrapins travel up to Happy Valley to play Penn State. We haven't fared very well here the last few years, uh, but obviously uh, pose a great challenge to us and one that I hope our team will be able to, to, to prepare the right way uh, to go up and compete for four quarters is what the expectation is for us. Reporting for the Maryland Terrapins, I'm Alif Kareem. So let's talk about Maryland's quarterback. It's Tua's brother. Pronunciation is tough. It's to what is it? Tolia. 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 Tonga Vailoa. So good luck saying that. Tolia. Tonga Vailoa. Because you're going to be hearing that a lot on Saturday. Yeah. He had a rough first game against Northwestern. He threw three picks, but he bounced back against Minnesota to get his first win in overtime. Penn State going to have a little bit of a challenge. They got a good defense, but they're going to have to bottle up Mr. Tonga Vailoa. He's a dual threat guy, too. He's really yeah. not as big as Tua. He's like 5'11". He'll get out of the pocket. He'll run around. Uh, they'll do some, you know, design quarterback runs yeah. and stuff like that. So they just had Justin Fields. They got to stop another running quarterback. Yeah. Back by popular demand. Pop, pop, popular. Popular demand. Jack, I'm going to talk some cash money. Hey, guess what my record is this year? Is it undefeated? Are you 6-0? 6-0. Oh, oh, come on. 6 and oh. All right, let's six get on with it. That's oh. enough. Yeah, all right. We're picking three <laughs> games against the spread, and here we go. Michigan, they lost as a 21-point favorite last week. I gave it out, but I'm taking Michigan this week against Indiana. I think the Hoosiers are overrated. Okay. I'm also taking Clemson, minus five. No Trevor Lawrence, but you know what? Davos Sweeney coaches his guys up in big games, and Brian Kelly at Notre Dame does not. Ooh. Georgia, the final one, they're taking on Florida. Georgia has dominated this rivalry. Florida might have a good offense, but I trust uh, Georgia's defense over Florida's offense. Fade me, do whatever you want, but I'm undefeated right now. You just jinxed yourself. I said fade me, and I just, I'm just speaking facts. Okay? okay, it's now time for our next segment. This is the fun part of the show, yes, right? It is. These are the best bites of the week. It is time for Sound Off. I think we we was all just like wow. Like I think we were all just stuck in our seats, like looking up at the jumbotron and just you know just. I mean we we it, it wasn't as much of a surprise as it was to everybody else because we expect that out of Jahan. He says so good. Like every time he agrees with something, he'd be like so good. <laughs> like hey Parker, you got some good sleep last night. So good. <laughs> it's funny when he says it. Regardless of could you could you start over, Bennett? It was kind of cutting out there. 
gonna get better. I'm having a hard time hearing it clearly. If all of you guys could just speak a little bit louder, that, that helps. Yeah, uh, Peter, you came through perfectly clear. I don't know if your internet's different than everybody else's or what, but it sounded great, so I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, the irony part is our internet is so bad. Okay, the, no, that is, that is it the, got upgraded. We're is, good. I know, but that's like We're the good. funniest part about. Yeah, the whole well, thing. It, the, what what happened was I had like a microphone that I'm speaking into. Yeah. everyone else is speaking into it like an internal microphone on their laptops or whatever at home. So they that's why I was able to come it. through uh, nice and clear. So all right, all go. right. Time of TV for today. If you're looking to watch the game, Penn State Maryland, 3:30 p.m. Beaver Stadium, Big Ten Network. Tune in. Penn State looking to get their first win on the year. And let's look at the Big Ten East standings. Of course, Ohio State at the top. Uh, Penn State at the bottom at 0-2. Obviously, this is going to change quite a bit. I expect Penn State to move back into the top 25 Can't go at any some lower. Point. Cannot go any lower. That's true, yeah. Big Ten West standings. Northwestern and Purdue sharing that top spot. Wisconsin, another canceled game this we'll week. We'll get to that. We will get to that. Nebraska 0-1. Now believes that Mr. Biden is the winner of the state of Pennsylvania. It's 20 electoral votes. That gives him 273 votes in the Electoral College, more than the 270 that he needs to be elected.